Hi, I'm Mike with Kingston Technology. Configuring your server with memory requires a solid understanding of how to balance power, capacity, and performance. Some applications, such as virtualization and end-memory databases, require the maximum amount of memory a system can support. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can maximize your server capacity. For more options or for more information, please refer to Kingston's website where you can read the white paper entitled Maximizing Your Memory. Our goal will be to achieve 512 gigabytes of system memory. We'll be using an HP ProLiant DL380P Gen 8 with two Xeon E5 processors and 16 of Kingston's 32 gigabyte DDR3 registered quad rank DIMMs. Before we start, it's important to know a few things about your specific server. First, you want to study the documentation provided by your server manufacturer to understand how the memory sockets and channels are organized. If you don't have the documentation handy, you can contact a Kingston expert on our website to guide you through the upgrade path and installation. Second, when planning for your memory requirements, it's always best to choose the highest capacity modules your server can support. This will avoid costly upgrades in the future if selected memory proves insufficient for your applications. The scenario I'm going to demonstrate will be to achieve 512 gigabytes of capacity on your server. I recommend working with one processor at a time. Locate processor one inside the server. This server has the memory sockets for each processor labeled one through 12 with the memory channels labeled A through J. The first bank is labeled A, B, C, and D. HP has made these easy to identify with the sockets in white. Before installing the memory, be sure to ground yourself by touching something metallic. This will dissipate any electrostatic discharge you may have on you. ESD will damage the memory. Next, select the first group of four modules to install in the white memory sockets. For best memory optimization, you'll want to install groups of four identical modules in each memory bank. If you're working with memory of different types or different capacities, such as memory that came from the factory, you'll want to keep those modules together. When you install the memory, be sure the module key is correctly aligned with the socket. This will indicate whether you've correctly oriented the module in the socket. When it's correctly lined up, it's then safe to press down into the socket. The clamps on either side of the module will automatically fasten when it's correctly placed. Be sure to press firmly on both sides to get a good, even seating. When you have the first group of four installed, locate the next bank, which is labeled E, F, G, and H. Repeat the steps for processor 2, which is labeled identically to processor 1. When all of the memory is installed, you're ready to boot the server to check the memory capacity. It's important to note that the third bank on this system is not usable when using quad rank registered DIMMs in either the first or second bank. Also, due to limitations of the chipset, Kingston's 1066 quad rank registered DIMMs will be forced to operate at only 800 MHz. If bandwidth is critical for your application, then we recommend using the first banks only where the DIMMs will operate at 1066 MHz. You may also choose to use load reduced DIMMs, which offer similar high capacities at higher speeds than traditional quad rank registered DIMMs. Load reduced DIMMs will also allow you to use the third memory bank to achieve higher capacities of 768 gigabytes or more. If you encountered any issues during this installation, our technical support reps are standing by to assist you. Kingston offers a full range of server memory products to optimize capacity, performance, and power savings. This video on maximizing capacity is one in a series of Kingston memory best practices. Others in the series help you maximize performance as well as minimize power consumption. Kingston also offers an experienced pre-sales technical support staff to help you determine which configuration is ideal for your environment. Please consult your Kingston representative about our Ask a Kingston Expert program in your region.